Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. This is too close. Welcome back to my channel. I am sorry about the sliding. I'm going to figure out a better solution, uh, but I'm in a new place. So last time I spoke to you guys, I think I was in my old house um, in my third year of uni. Now I'm going into my fourth year and I'm in a different house. Um, but yeah, it's been a long time. I low-key ran in my room. As soon as I was out of my meeting, I'm like, it's time to film. If I don't do it now, it's never gonna happen. But I want to talk to you guys about the books I've read so far this year. I'll talk about the first 10. There hasn't been that many. My reading goal has been like, or my reading has been like the lowest it's ever been. Uh, but it's also because I, I work full time, I go to school, um, that kind of thing. Just recently I got back into audiobooks and that's been helping me out like a ton. So let's start with the first book. It's a graphic novel called Oddball by Sarah Anderson. She's the same person who wrote, writes like Sarah Scribbles and like those cute graphic novels with like kind of like very relatable like quirky little comics. So, like she talks a lot about like procrastination, creativity, like growing up, insecurities. I really like her work and I enjoyed her graphic novels in the past. So this one was no exception. I ended up giving it four to five stars and really enjoyed it. Next up here I have Censor by Junjo Ito. If you don't know, Junjo Ito is an amazing horror manga artist um, and creator, writer. Stunning. This one was very weird. This one was like about hair fibers and follicles. It was, did she wander in or was she drawn in? And it, it was, it was odd. This one was just odd. But the, the naked hardback is good. It has all the hair follicles on it. I don't know. It was interesting. It was very mysterious. I didn't get connected to it like I did some of his other works in the past. I didn't feel that connection and I wasn't invested in the story as much as other stuff. My neighbors are probably watching me right now. That's embarrassing. They're probably like, okay. Look how pretty this is though. Yay! That's beautiful. I only ended up giving it three stars because it wasn't my favorite thing ever. Oh wow, you see the light difference when car pass a car passes. But <laughs> yeah, I ended up giving that one just a three star. It was okay, not my favorite. Next up here, I have Heartstop Lore Volume 4. Yes, I love this series so much. It's basically about two boys falling in love and there's some like struggles throughout the book. Like there's mentions of a sexual assault as a trigger warning and stuff, but most of the, these books are pretty wholesome. There is some bullying that happens as well, but their relationship itself is very wholesome and I love it so much. Uh, Alice Oseman just has such a like a beautiful art style too. I love it. The Heartstopper show was phenomenal. I watched it twice. I would highly recommend watching that on Netflix if you haven't. But yeah, these are so good. Like I really want more. Kind of bothers me though because this one is like the US or Canadian version, I guess. Usually I get the ones, the UK ones. So it's short, it's actually shorter, which usually UK books are shorter, but this one's shorter than my other graphic novels for this series. They're like this tall. So it just looks weird now, but it's not really the point. Just so cute. I ended up giving that one a four or a 4.5 out of five stars because I loved it. Next up, I have another Junjo Ito and this is Remina. So this book follows someone who discovers a new planet called Remina. So they, they named it after their daughter. So because he named this new planet after her, she's just automatically famous. Like she's, she's set. Like everyone's talking about her. This was also extremely, extremely weird. Like it's a very cool book and stuff. Um, <laughs> The art style was really cool. It was really interesting, but I didn't fall in love with this one, unfortunately. It was still good though. Um, there was also just a point where like a planet was licking another planet or something. And it was, it's been a little while since I've read this, but it, a planet was like licking and turning the orbit. And it was, what? I don't know. I ended up giving this one three stars as well. Sensor and this one were like the same kind of book for me. Like they were good, they were interesting, but kind of weird, but like wasn't what I wanted. I wasn't too engaged. So they just were decent, not phenomenal. Next up here, I have Aristotle and Dante discovers the waters of the world. This is the sequel to Aristotle and Dante discovers the secrets of the universe. We finally got a sequel. Finally got a sequel. This is what the other book looks like. Basically that book is about two boys kind of falling in love, kind of forming a relationship. And this one follows them more when they're together. That's kind of all I'll say for synopsis wise. They're both navigating the end of high school. So it's kind of about that and how they're going to be transitioning to like university, college, that kind of stuff. I didn't think this was good as 
as good as book one. I don't think anything will top Aristotle and Dante, like the original one. I wonder if I reread that if I would feel the same, but I loved the first book, like five out of five, one of my favorite books ever. This one I ended up giving three stars. It was interesting. I liked following the characters and like I missed them, but like especially after reading Heartstopper, I think Heartstopper just has a way better like love story than this. Like I would, I would rather read Heartstopper than read more about Aristotle and Dante in this book. Yeah, but it was it was still good. It just wasn't amazing. Uh, this does have some trigger warnings for like homophobia. There's a lot of grief in it and that kind of thing. Next up here, I read a Stephen King book. Uh, it's actually a st short story. It's called Finn. Basically, it's set in Ireland and this young boy gets kidnapped due to a misunderstanding. So that's what the whole little story is about. It was interesting. I didn't think it was that great. I wasn't a huge fan of it. Uh, I don't know, the ending wasn't great. Uh, it just it just wasn't my favorite King short story like at all. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I think it could have been... Shit, it's getting dark now. Oh, ah! yeah, sorry, the lighting, the lighting's changed. The lighting's changed a little. We're getting, we're getting dark in the evening. But yeah, Finn wasn't my favorite, was my favorite King story. It was exclusive to Scribd, so I listened to an audiobook, but it was okay, I gave it three stars. Next, I read a book that I thought I would really like and I was kind of confused that I didn't enjoy it much. Like I might try reading it physically. I don't know, maybe I just hated the audiobook. I I don't know, but it's Stardust by Neil Gaiman. Basically, the main character tries to win over this girl he likes by getting her a shooting star, like just getting it out of the sky because, you know, normal. It's kind of like fairy tale like the writing style is great. Neil Gaiman is like a phenomenal writer. I, I always enjoy his writing style. And some of his books are my favorite, like the Graveyard books I think is really good, Coraline's really good. The Ocean at the End of the Lane is really interesting, I read that one a long time ago. But I hated the character Tristan, like I thought he was just an asshole misogynist. And like I'm pretty sure this is like a middle grade book too, and I'm pretty sure Stardust is like in between... I thought that was middle... I thought Stardust was middle grade, but maybe it's adult. Maybe. I need to double check that. But I, I did not enjoy this, this book very much. I thought the story was kind of weird. I thought the main character was like, I know some characters are meant to be annoying, but this dude, not it. He wasn't it. So I ended up giving this book a 2.5 out of five stars. Next I read Burn Down Rise Up. So this is actually a newer book. I read this because of Jesse from Bowties and Books. They were doing like a book club for it and stuff. And I wanted to read it because I heard Jesse talk about it. I listened to an audiobook. It's been compared to like Stranger Things and something else. We follow our main character, Raquel. She's a person of color. She falls for a girl. Um, so there's some nice uh, representation there. But this whole thing revolves around this game called the Echo Game. So there's many like disappearances happening. So people that go through this Echo Game usually don't make it. And it's a big mystery. So that's what the story kind of follows is Raquel's mom becomes very, very, very sick. And the only way that she can kind of help is by exploring this mystery and trying to find a solution for her mother. So that's what the story kind of revolves around. It's dark at times, like there's nightmares. There's some really good descriptions in there that I enjoyed. It was a New York City setting and you could just feel the pressure the whole time because like the mother was dying throughout the book. So the main character really had to just figure shit out fast and uh, it was just a big mystery but I really enjoyed it it was young adult I didn't say that yet it was good I can see the Stranger Things kind of comparisons in a sense I ended up giving this one 3.5 out of 5 stars it was an enjoyable book um, I'm glad I read it and I listened to it on audiobook but yeah I ended up giving this book 3.5 out of 5 stars I thought it was pretty good like I thought it was pretty good I enjoyed my time reading it I would recommend it if you're interested in picking it up two more next up here I have Boy Meets Boy I wanted to read this, this is by David Levithan. I want to read this because it's a very like older classic, like classic YA gay book. So I was like, sure, I'll read it. It's about a boy meeting another boy. There's lots of representation in this. There's a gay, uh, gay, lesbian, trans, and bisexual representation in this book. The author is gay themselves, so it's own voices. There is some like homophobic slurs in here, so be aware of that. It took place in New York, so again, I was back in New York, I was happy. I like these New York settings. I thought it was actually really excellent and raw and just a really good expectation, like really good just representation of what high school can kind of be like. Like it felt like these were real people to me when I was reading it, like they felt really real to me. I just thought all the interactions in high school were realistic as well. And yeah, it was excellent for how short this was. This book is really short. I listened to it very fast on audiobook and it was really short, but it was actually very, very good for how short it was. I think it's actually a pretty good book. I'd like to own it physically. Next, I read a really good book. Really good book. I didn't expect it. Severity by Colleen Hoover. I did not expect to like this as much as I did, but I flew through this one. 
I really enjoyed it. Basically, it's about this woman named Lowen who is a writer. She's kind of like doing meh in her career, but she gets an interesting offer for uh, this famous writer that's currently like dying or in a coma kind of thing. And her husband approaches and says like, my wife is a really big fan, is like a really big fan of your writing. Can you take over her series? She gets offered a ton of money for this. So she's very intrigued and it's, she kind of goes over to their house to see her office and she starts uncovering things. But this is like a huge mystery. So interesting. Like I was, I couldn't stop reading this train wreck. Just, it's so dark and there was just so many things. There's so many things. And Lowen starts reading like the wife's manuscripts and goes through like a bunch of stuff, her, her stuff. And she realizes how re like disturbed she really is. And I just was so enthralled and interested and it was just like you couldn't stop reading it. But yeah, I thought it was captivating and the ending kind of leaves you room to kind of decide what you really believe. So I'm not going to say much. Um, but yeah, if you've read this book and you want to talk about it, please message me. <laughs> I want to talk about this with somebody. Um, I talked a bit about it with a few of my friends, but I really want to talk about this. I really enjoyed this. I gave it four, uh, four stars originally, but I think I might boost that to a 4.5 because I had a really good time reading this and I haven't read something like this before um, where like I really hated when the main character was reading the manuscript like I really hated this person <laughs> like I really hated them yeah it just made me feel a lot of things that's all so yeah those were the 10 books I read recently I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm so sorry I know I haven't uploaded in a really long time um, but I still hope you're around or interested in more content please let me know this video like if you enjoyed it it mean a lot to me and i right now we're doing a book club in my discord server if you want to join in with that we're going to be reading full dark no stars starting mid-july so probably around the time this video goes up till uh for a month so mid-august but feel free to start early and late i don't care um you do you but we're going to be listening or <laughs> listening i'm going to be listening to it on audiobook while i'm working but we're gonna be reading Full Dark No Stars. It's a short story collection by King. So if you wanna join us, I'll have the Discord link down below. Uh, you just have to react to the proper role. But yeah, I'd love to have you guys in my Discord server if any of you wanna chat more, talk about things, whatever. I have been loving Twitch. If you've been wondering where I am, I have been more on Twitch. If I'm posting any content, it's been on Twitch and TikTok and it's been gaming content kind of thing. But if you guys are interested in the Discord server, we do have book channels, talk about book things. But yeah, I'd love to talk to more of you guys. And I can't wait to reply to the comments. Because I miss you. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.